Hey everybody, what's going on? This is me, Alex, and in today's video, we're going to be installing 8GB of DDR3 memory into my Beasley of a computer, making it push out an astounding 12GB total. Today I ran out to my local Best Buy and I decided to go pick up 8GB of memory because I saw it for sale for $79. This one would normally cost $149, not on sale, but I just could not pass on the deal and I had to go pick it up. It is DDR3 PC3 12800 memory of PNY's performance lineup gaming series XLR8 and it really does serve me well. I've used these kind of memories before my previous PC builds because it is DDR3 and it does compatible with my PC3 12800 motherboard, pushing out 1600 MHz and a 1.5 voltage, and of course it is PNY and it is compatible with Windows 8. As you see this already comes with one stick of RAM making it perfect because that way I can upgrade for more sticks of RAM since my computer has a total of 8 along with its motherboard supporting 4 sticks of RAM so I am completely covered. PNY does make life simple. I have used them in many of my previous builds as I mentioned before and I just really really like the look of this RAM. Not that it really matters in any ways because I'm going to be putting it in, in this closed case so you can't really see because it's not really transparent. However, it does really really serve well. I am editing on this computer currently this video and first thing you want to do is you want to unscrew the screw on the back of the computer case in order to remove the back panel exposing the insides of the computer. All you're going to want to do is sort of pull back on the case and then wiggle loose in order for the case to just fall right off. Inside you're going to see the computer exponents, probably the motherboard at first, the power supply and a whole bunch of cables that you do not want to touch until now. What you are going to be wanting to look at is those little blue things on the top right hand corner of the computer right over there, which will of course show you some more of the things. We're going to go ahead and unbox the memory right now by carefully, carefully, carefully cutting open the packaging on the side. One thing to keep sure before you touch it, before you touch any of the memory, you want to ground yourself by making sure your computer is plugged into the wall and you want to make sure that your computer is turned off before you begin any of these processes and you want to make sure you have your hand on the chassis of the computer or any metal part on the computer, chassis or case itself. Not any metal part like the motherboard or the graphics card because that will cause the RAM and the motherboard or graphics card to burn out or short circuit, possibly causing a fire in your house. Please do not do that at home. If you notice here I'm paying attention, I'm very very carefully touching the paper along with carefully lifting it up from the owners, try not to crack or break the memory because I have done that in the past and it's not very nice to go back to Best Buy and ask for a refund because you broke the memory yourself. We're going to go ahead and take a look because inside here it does come with a small literature packet as you see right there. My friend is helping me install this memory here because he wanted to be in the video. PNY is right over here written on the top of the memory and as you see on the back it says XLR8, part of PNY's distributor company for their gaming from its memory. Taking a closer look here at how to install, you're going to see four slots of dim memory slots right up there for DDR3, not DDR2 for the older motherboards. And we're going to take a closer look by carefully, carefully putting in the memory and making sure it clicks in. And then all you have to do really after that is turn on the computer because I didn't have to adjust anything in my BIOS. It just automatically decided to go ahead and work for me. Once that is on, you're going to want to really, really be careful because if you do not be careful you have, could actually crack the memory itself and you want to look at the pins itself making sure that it doesn't ruin or any pins on the dim motherboard slots because it's very very challenging to replace the motherboard in a computer like this. Once we're in a better angle here you want to make sure the pins do line up with the dim slots in the motherboard. Once we have that you quickly just want to push the motherboard in but take, take your time because if you quickly do it you will have the entire chance of screwing up and that will end up in a bad place when trying to use your computer. Your programs can fail and you will really not have 12 gigabytes of RAM in this case because your computer will have much less chance of recognizing it itself. Now in this case of this memory you may be tempted to take off the casing, however you want to re keep that casing on since that casing is metal, you really really have to be careful. Because if you disground yourself or um, disground yourself that will be bad in preventing the computer from actually working. It will give you a loud beep and tell you to please remove and insert the RAM again. Once you have that in it should just click in right there. Before you do that you want to be careful in powering it on. But before you do that, do not put back on the back cover because in case you will have to take it off. 
I can already feel the RAM kicking in once I just log in right into my computer's Windows 8. The power on the power on time is really really fast and I've never really had a computer turn on this fast except for my Mac Mini, but that was only pretty probably because it has a solid state drive. Once this computer turns on it has a lot of programs to load up, making it much much harder and that's why I purchased some more RAM. This RAM is very very easy to use and I prefer it all the time. Once the computer power is on, I'm just going to quickly show you guys that this is a 24-bit processor. If we take a closer look here, we're going to go ahead and right click on computer and it's going to take us right to our program settings. Unless you click on icon just like I did and I pretty much screwed up right here. So once you double click on that, it shouldn't really do anything. I don't know why I double clicked on it now it's mine's doing a mistake. But once you do that, all you're going to do is you're going to open this up right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this PC and go to properties. Now I forgot to do that. I tried to go to properties here and apparently that didn't work. That just opened up the desktop icon properties. So that really didn't help me at all. What you got to do is you got to go ahead and you got to click on the open. Open the computer. Got to do that. Sorry about that guys. I'm going to show you here. Okay, so once I got that open, it's going to see installed memory RAM. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you guys really haven't. Just stay tuned to the latest and greatest.